Hi Libra, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your June 2022 monthly tarot reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, Libra, let's see what you have coming up in the month of June. I do apologize uh, if you hear any background noise. There's a lot going on in my neighborhood today. All right, we're starting out with the Ace of Cups crossed by the King of Pentacles at your foundation. We do have the Two of Pentacles. All right, what does Libra have coming up in the month of June 2022, please? And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Also, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help the channel to grow, okay? Recent past, we have another two, the two of wands. Libra. Crowning you, we have the nine of pentacles. up in the near future so this is energy that you will experience around the second week of june we have the six of wands all right libra what does libra have coming up the month of june please All right, so in the position of your power, Libra, we have the Ace of Pentacles. In the position of how others are viewing you, we have the High Priestess. In the hopes and fears, we have the Hierophant. So now we just need an outcome. This is energy that you will experience right at the end of June going into July. What is the outcome for Libra, please? What is the outcome? And if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome to all of you. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I do prefer the jumpers. Let's see, Libra, what is the outcome for Libra? Okay. All right, we have the Seven of Wands, okay. Overall energy for you guys for the month of June is the moon. All right, so not all is known with the moon showing up, but um, you have some very strong psychic vibes, uh, Libra. With the moon and the high priestess showing up, you have the hierophant in the spread as well. Let's see. Ooh, look at this. All right, we have some majors. We have the moon as the overall energy. Underneath it, we do have the tower. Now I can read this several different ways, but if we keep going, we do have the queen of cups. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign. We have very strong Pisces and Scorpio coming through, but I mean, could be Cancer as well. There could be, for some of you, this could be like an emotional outburst. Yeah, so just be careful because not all is known. There's definitely going to be communication at some point. And honestly, it may be just a big misunderstanding you have the Eight of Wands, you have the Five of Wands, which this could be interference, outside energies or parties, maybe stir in the pot, whatever it is, there could be some deception that's maybe even coming to light for some of you. You could be finding something out, you could be finding something out, and this is your energy, Libra, where you're more emotional, you definitely could be speaking your truth and this could be to multiple different people you may have some haters um 
There could be some, you know, jealous people around you. Maybe even online as well. If you do anything online, this can be some haters online. They're hiding. They're in the shadows hating on you. Definitely a level of jealousy here. Very interesting. But yeah, just be careful because your emotions are definitely definitely running high here. So just be careful. Uh, with the five of wands, it's petty. It's petty. You can ignore it. Let the haters hate. You just, you know, continue doing you because I see you, Libra, actually looking good. You're looking good. Some of you are psychics uh, or, I mean, this is just very, very strong psychic vibes here coming in for you guys. The very first card out is the Ace of Cups. This is you definitely very connected to Source, Spirit, the Divine. Now, I could be reading for some Librans where you have Earth in your chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, very strong Taurus coming through. You may be a very spiritual being, very spiritual person. You do not necessarily have to be male, not at all. Uh, you may resonate more with the masculine here uh, at the start of the month for some of you, but there is an awful lot of feminine energy here as well, so it, it really doesn't matter. You may be dealing with an earth sign. This could be you opening up. Uh, for some of you, I feel like this is love, and this could be a very strong psychic bond for some of you. And it definitely could be with an earth sign. Or if they're not an earth sign, they come off as the king of pentacles, which could be a businessman, someone who's doing quite well. Uh, I see that you're doing quite well. And so, I mean, you're definitely vibrating very high, Libra. And so I think you're attracting love. And you don't even see this coming. For some of you, this is a shock. This could be a deep spiritual connection. And don't think that, you know, the tower is, is automatically negative. I see this in my readings all the time. It's really not. It's a shakeup. It can be the universe stepping in and actually giving you a push. But for many of you, you would know this. I mean, you can feel it. You know. If you don't know the direction that you need to move in, which many of you do, you will here in June. I mean, your intuition is turned up a notch. Someone is definitely reaching out to you. Now, this could be you actually reaching out. Um, you may be telling someone how you feel. You could be showering someone with lots of attention, affection, time, energy. But there could be haters uh, or a hater. This could be someone in the shadows someone lurking. I am feeling a little bit like um, someone may be watching you online and you may not be aware of this, but what is hidden, what is done in the dark always comes to light, right? And so this would be coming out. And also some of you, uh, you know this. I mean, some of you, your intuition is on point. Um, you know that you have a hater or haters around you. You know this. Now, you have to take these readings how they resonate because I'm also getting that for some of you, you're dealing with someone or you're maybe getting involved with somebody who has a lot of haters. So if it's not you, uh, maybe it's this king of pentacles. This can be a businessman or someone who's wealthy, someone who's doing quite well in life. And you know, he may have some haters or maybe even an ex around him that is causing him some sort of problems. It's quite interesting, um, but beautiful. I mean, look at this reading. Look at this reading. And we see you very protective of yourself. I mean, your intuition is on point. Not all is known, but give it some time, Libra, because... Things will come to light. Things could be exposed. And it may be when you least expect it. But I feel like... I feel like what, whatever this is, it's nothing that you can't handle. 
Uh, you do have the two of pentacles at your foundation, which, you know, for those of you where this is new love, I feel like this person definitely, without a doubt, was on your mind. And it's because this is a very deep connection. Yeah, and so I feel like you're both open here and... Prior, you know, that may not have been the case. Yeah, I feel like you both are open. And so that's in June. You know, that may not have been the case prior due to fear. And also maybe an ex or haters outside influences affecting this connection. But uh, here in June... I feel like this is this is new feelings that you know are emerging here. This is beautiful. If you're already involved with somebody, this could be you making amends. This could be you falling in love even more. Maybe you're going on a vacation. This is romance. This is romance. So if you are partnered, your partner definitely could be doing something. There even could be a gift. I'm getting uh, a gift. There's lots of attention coming your way. This is you juggling two of pentacles at your foundation. Those of you that had to make a very important decision, I feel like you've made it. And it could be to pursue this relationship. Some of you are starting a business though, so I feel like you are multitasking. You have a lot going on. You have two aces here in the spread, ace of cups, you have the ace of pentacles. And so I feel like, yeah, this is new love, but also for some of you, this is money coming in. Uh, this is your business booming. Two of wands in the recent past. You could have been working with someone, Libra. For some of you, I mean, this could be you falling for your business partner or someone that you work with, but that's just for a very small number of you. But this was you making a decision to maybe even be single for, for some of you because we have the nine of pentacles. If you were involved with an ex, if you were still dealing with an ex, that could be the hater or the interference that we see at the bottom of the deck, but I feel like this was you making a decision to go at it alone. Nine of Pentacles, you know your worth. Nine of Pentacles, I mean, you got your mind on your money and you're looking good. You're definitely looking good. I'm reading for some Librans where, I mean, you're hot stuff. If you are a business owner or if you're landing a new job or getting a raise, a promotion, I feel like you do not see this coming for many of you. Um, this is what's hidden. This is success, six of wands. This is success, recognition. You're in the spotlight here around the second week. And there's money coming in. This could be money coming in, Libra, that you just, you know, don't see coming. And it really could be a big surprise. For some of you, I feel like this is connected to real estate. So I feel like you're beating the competition. So some of you could be purchasing a house. Maybe you're selling a house to purchase a house, whatever it is. I feel like if you're up against any sort of competition, competition at work, whatever it is, I feel like you're beating the competition. You know exactly what you should do. Your intuition's turned up a notch. There's money to be made here. Yeah, so this is nice. You have the Ace of Pentacles, position of your power, how others are viewing you. We have the High Priestess, which is some of you are, are psychic or maybe you're an empath, a very spiritual being. Maybe you're becoming more spiritual with these two coming out. You may have some very strong beliefs. Others, I mean, this is you maybe...
knowing exactly maybe what you should do next. Um, some of you may be starting a business. Yeah, this could be you planting a seed. If you're planting a seed, and this could be with anything, you don't have to necessarily be starting a business. For some of you, you actually could be maybe purchasing a property or something like that. This could be in a number of different ways. I feel like with whatever this is, this is very good. I feel like it's going to require you really believing in yourself, having that confidence, but also maybe staying quiet and keeping this idea or keeping these plans to yourself, Libra. Okay, so stay quiet, build uh, quietly. That recognition is definitely going to come in. You have the Hierophant and the hopes and fears. You could be dealing with the Taurus or a water sign. And then energy going into July, you have the Seven of Wands, which many of you, you're doing quite well within your career and you may sit in some sort of position of power or you do now. This could be a, a promotion that's coming in. And so this is you more defensive here at this time, energy at the end of the month, Seven of Wands. You know exactly what you want. You're not changing your mind. Again, some of you have strong beliefs, but this could be you um, definitely having some sort of advantage. You may be in a higher position and you may actually have a lot of competition or haters. But this is you actually just standing firm and you can see here in this deck, she looks quite calm very zen she's she's quite fine and again you're just very connected very connected you're not worried you're not phased you're not worried you're really trusting your intuition at this time which is great i mean this is by far the best reading i've seen for you guys in a long time so very happy to see this libra let's do some quick clarifying first we will take a look at the seven of wands for libra what is the seven of wands now you could be very protective of your person or we see you knowing uh your worth and so if you're with someone and they want a commitment or they want to get married whatever it is maybe they want to purchase property whatever it is this is you knowing exactly what you want you're not changing your mind you may be quiet with your person yes but um i feel like whatever it is that you want you're you're gonna get it and so don't don't change your mind don't settle don't back down but let's see, what is the Seven of Wands? Wow. Maybe, maybe for some of you, you could be fighting for your person or a love interest maybe you feel like you have to compete for this person because we have the knight of cups here we have the knight of cups clarifying the seven of wands hmm that's quite interesting this definitely could be an apology this could be an apology coming in i mean that could be what you don't see coming it may actually be a shock and so some of you are adored though but you can see here the high priestess here she has her eyes closed i feel like you're just very calm and you may have some drama and some madness some chaos going on around you but you have such strong faith 
nothing nothing is going to shake you and so there could definitely be an apology coming in for some of you and, and you don't see it coming you're not expecting it but you also don't need it others this is maybe a love interest that's coming in here or if you're interested in someone this could be you actually fighting for that person you want their attention yeah some of you definitely may have someone spying on you next i was actually looking at the high priestess we have the page of swords so this can be someone watching you quietly someone studying you or i mean you could be doing this if you work in the spiritual field or community, I mean, this could be you really learning quite a bit at this time. All right, let's look at the moon. What is the moon for Libra? You may be interested in someone, and so you could be spying on them. Let's see. nine of cups so for some of you this is a wish that's coming in you, you don't see it coming let me see for those of you that are dealing with an ex and that could be a queen of cups if you do have a hater or an ex around you, especially if it's an ex, this person could be emotionally codependent, but that's that's not all of you. But for some of you, this Nine of Cups is in the reverse. But that's not all of you. Let's see, what is the two of pentacles please clarify the two of pentacles if you were juggling two options and that is definitely not all of you if you do resonate with that i feel like you're dropping an option which could be someone from your past and you're planting a seed the only way you can plant a seed and really give it an opportunity to grow and blossom into something beautiful is if you let go of your options or your other possibilities. But let's see. What is the two of pentacles? Yeah, it definitely could be a Scorpio. Scorpio is definitely coming through. And we have the seven of rods, which is Leo. So some of you are dealing with the Leo. This is beliefs. These are beliefs that are that are ending or dying. And so some of you, this is a new belief system. Some of you becoming maybe more spiritual. If you resonate with that, I feel like you could have been fighting this. Quite interesting. But we have death and the seven of rods. So you may have been going round and round. You could have been battling a Scorpio, battling someone. Or maybe even uh, having to fight or stand your ground, defend yourself, defend your beliefs, defend your relationship whatever whatever this is it's done it's over with and so you're no longer going round and round now you have a new possibility some of you this could even have been a lawsuit that ended something like that and now you're starting a new chapter let's just look at the six of wands here let's see for Libra look at that the ace of cups showing up twice beautiful you have three aces coming out here Libra in this reading it's beautiful this is new love this is new love could be with the Leo or if you're already dealing with somebody some of you could have even taken a break this could be you coming back together 
new feelings for others, new feelings. You could be pursuing someone, someone could be pursuing you. Look at this, Leo is coming through so strong. But this is freedom, this is happiness, again, success. You're in the spotlight, Libra, six of wands around the second week, and now we have the sun showing up. So you have the sun and the moon. Definitely, definitely getting divine masculine in feminine energies coming up here in this reading. You have some pretty powerful energies and you definitely could be dealing with a fixed sign or maybe you have strong Leo or Taurus in your chart. All right, let's pull you an archetype card. Let's see, for Libra, for the month of June. Some of you are maybe, and this is not all of you, but some of you could be getting pregnant. There could be a pregnancy that's coming up. And if it's not in June, it could be in July. July or maybe even Leo season, which could be the end of July. All right. Let's see, what else do we have for Libra? So at the bottom, we do have child orphan. It actually was in the reverse. And I'll just read it very quickly. The light attributes are independence based on learning to go it alone, conquering fear of surviving. But this was in the reverse. So I feel like you no longer are dealing with this. Maybe this was a problem working on some maybe inner child uh, wounding. We have detective, light attributes, great powers of observation and intuition, desire to seek out the truth, and then trickster, light attributes, transcending convention, stuffiness, and predictable behavior. Shadow is manipulating others. So isn't that quite interesting? So I definitely could be reading for maybe some detectives, or if you're not a detective, you may work in the legal field. You are a Libra, and so maybe you're in the military or a police officer. If you are, I feel like this is just confirming that, you know, this reading is for you. But isn't this interesting? Because we have detective Libra, showing up and we have trickster which you have the moon as the overall energy and so i feel like not all is known but if somebody is hiding something from you you're gonna know now some of you are playing detective here because we have the page of swords with the high priestess so this is definitely watching someone quietly you could be playing detective. You can see here on this card. I mean, look at this image. Interesting. All right, let's take a look at your love life for Libra, which you definitely have love coming in. What is the guidance for Libra, please? Looking at their love life in June. Again, I apologize for background noise. All right. 
just gonna pull you one of these too, Libra. What is the guidance for Libra? Okay. So these two wanted to come out as well. They were not upright. This one was. We have time. You are trying too hard. Give it time and then embrace. Through each other, you find missing pieces. So take what resonates. Some of you definitely may find these messages helpful. Okay. And we also have look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. For some of you, there's maybe some fear here that you're dealing with because you have a new love or you could be definitely maybe um, reconciling with someone or if your partner, you could be actually maybe for some of you getting pregnant. There's a new love here. And I think that some of you are feeling a little, a little nervous, definitely a little nervous, feeling possibly a little insecure. So look inside yourself. What is causing you to feel this way? Could be connected to your childhood for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Some of you are trying to control a situation or an outcome too much. Getting to know each other. So you're getting to know someone. So you could be trying to control that event uh, too much. Too much. Allow things to happen naturally. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Some of you are maybe resisting opening up. This is new love. And I feel like by the second week, this is definitely a lot of attention coming your way. A lot of attention. But you're playing detective and I feel like you're on the fence. Now, some of you are not dealing with a trickster. The tarot is not talking about that whatsoever the external influence the outsider or the person that's maybe interfering with this connection possibly an ex they could be a trickster in some way this is i feel like this is not your person's energy and some of you are maybe realizing that you could be playing detective and i mean you may figure that out Especially if you've been watching someone for a little while. Some of you, this is fear or insecurity. Let's pull you one of these for Libra. Some of you definitely have been hurt in the past. And so you're definitely guarded. This person, this person I think knows it. And they're going to have to, I guess, help you let your walls down. Or you definitely may have to do that with them. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. It jumped right out. Surrender to the flow. So some of you, I feel like you definitely may have fixed energy in your chart. So could be Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. You're definitely trying to control and that's what you're being guided to not do. And so, yeah, there's good luck that's coming in but you have to go with the flow. Let's see what signs you're dealing with. Who is Libra dealing with?
Gemini. Gemini. Okay. And then Aquarius. So you may have Aquarius in your chart. All right, Libra, so I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you are subscribed. If you are interested in having a private reading with me, my information is down below. Also, go check me out on Facebook, Instagram. I'm now on TikTok. Uh, just make sure, guys, that you are only clicking on the links that I provide. There are a lot of fake accounts out there. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Take care.